It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and today we have a beer from Morrison's and it's made by Salt Beer Factory and it's in collaboration with Hooch. Anybody remembers or remember Hooper's Hooch back in the 90s? This is a 4% ABV beer, 440 millilitres, brewed at Bingley Road in Salt Air, Bradford, and it's called Twisting My Lemon Man, a lemon infused pale. Now for me, this has been, it's quite divisive really. This has been made probably to cause a stir. This has been made to hopefully refresh. Looking at it as I stood in the supermarket, standing in the aisle looking at this beer, I thought to myself, mm. This is, my first thoughts were, is this a new low for supermarket craft beer? Now, this could absolutely rock my world. It could be fantastic. It could be utter trash. I think what we do first and foremost is get it out into a glass and see what we get. Little bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass. So we got a small one finger white head, good levels of carbonation on the beer and it's Hazy and straw coloured. Little amounts of carbonation. Let's get the aroma on this beer then. Mm. It's got the aroma of a lemon rattler. This could be very good. This could be very, very good. In fact, with that lovely cut of lemon coming through, I'm starting to feel that way. I'm starting to change my mind a little bit. It's hoppy as well. They've managed to get some real hop flavor coming through. And of course you get that kind of malt flavor is it clever then? Is it a clever beer? Or is it a new low for craft beer in the supermarket? Let's find out. Cheers, everybody. Oh. Oh, it's terrible. Oh. Oh, that's, it's astringent. It's astringent and I've never put lemon washing up liquid in my mouth, but, oh, I can imagine it tasting a bit like this. Oh, um, oh, that's atrocious. The aroma is fantastic. The aroma is like, oh, maybe they kind of created some German lemon radler. If you're looking for a beer like this, if you're looking for a low ABV light beer, then, then probably buy Foster's Shandy. I actually thought that was pretty good. Foster's Shandy. Go to Lidl every now and again. You can pick up their Pearl and Backer Radler. That's another good German Radler. Weiss beer plus, plus, plus lemon. That's very good. This is atrocious. This is...
it, it, it's diabolical, absolutely diabolical this. Starts off with a little bit of carbonation, pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's lemon flavorings, and then this awful, awful astringent chemical. It tastes like chemicals. It, it, it's not even like trying to be. I mentioned hops earlier on. Maybe there's a little bit of bitterness coming from the hops in this beer, but generally this is this is this is just a chemical lemon flavour with some astringent bitterness on the back end. I was speaking to somebody on a private messaging platform about this beer yesterday. And I said I'm absolutely fed up now, and I'm not doing it no more. I, I, I kind of like checked out of supporting an upstart brewery. I don't think I will ever support an upstart brewery ever again. Not that I don't want them to succeed, but whenever I seem to get my hopes up, this is going to be the next big thing. They always turn around and slap you across the face. If you look at Brewdog, for example, back in the day, fantastic company, they were going to change the world. They were driving tanks down the streets. They were, they were anti-establishment. They were, they, were, they were doing everything that they were supposed to be doing to disrupt the industry. And then they became the industry. Then they became, then they fell into bed with all these companies and, 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 and the beer now just doesn't taste the same. So that was the first disappointment. That was the first time I kind of went, oh man, no, this is wrong. This is what no, exactly what they're fighting against. And this is what they're becoming. Same kind of happened with Thornbridge. <coughs> Thornbridge with their Jaipur, they kind of lent into the supermarkets with that for a while. They seem to have pulled back a bit. They seem to have held Jaipur at a certain quality. Other companies like Tiny Rebel did exactly the same thing. Tiny Rebel in 2012 were producing fantastic, fantastic beer at a premium, but then they just become this Pineapple Express adjunct full jam lager brewery. And 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 it's not for me, it's really not for me. So that was a second disappointment. And the list goes on, really. The list goes on. Magic Rock. Magic Rock. Beaver Town, two of the most fantastic breweries back in 2012, 2013, all the way up to about 2015, 2016. Beaver Town sold out to Heineken, Magic Rock sold out to uh, so, some some company in the Caribbean, I think, and and, and it just it, the, the beer immediately suffered. Salt with their hucker back. Salt hit the supermarkets with their Huckerback and it was absolutely fantastic. I haven't bought Huckerback in a while. Comment in the comments box. If it's still a fantastic beer, then great. Absolutely brilliant. But this is, this is probably the first time that Salt have completely disappointed me. Up until this point, Salt have been a pretty solid, pretty decent supermarket craft beer producer. Hooch. Hooch is everything that I think craft beer is becoming. Craft beer, supermarket craft beer in general, is trying to be hooch. It's trying to be that kind of big volume, sell it quick, sell it cheap, slightly hoppy, New England IPA. Hazy IPA. Hazy IPA is the word. It's all a bit hooch like these days, and it's a little ironic that Salt and Hooch have got together to make this beer. Um, I thought for quite some time that supermarket craft beer was heading towards hooch anyway. So it's a little ironic that this beer has become a thing. But I'm beyond, my point here is that I'm beyond 
I'm past the disappointment. I, I can, you know, I'm not surprised by this whatsoever. I'm not surprised by this beer. I don't feel happy. I don't feel sad. I don't feel disappointed. Do you know, I, I just don't care anymore. I just do not care anymore. And I think this is where, this is where many people with craft beer are at the moment. I think they're just generally like, you know, why should I support this? For example, for me, we got a new brewery in Caerphilly. Everybody's banging on about their beers. Everybody say, even even in Yorkshire, people are banging on about this Caerphilly brewery's beers. Absolutely ter terrific. Um, I'm not willing to get involved. I'm not willing to get involved. Because the more people like me get involved with this Caerphilly brewery, they will just expand their brewery. They will just make their brewery bigger. And then they will just enter the supermarket. And then they'll be in the supermarket for a few years. And then they won't be producing absolutely fantastic beer anymore. They'll be producing jam tart lagers. So I'm not prepared to jump on their journey. And it's it's a journey of, of, of profit. It's just volume and profit. If I jump in with this brewery from Caerphilly, it will just end up being a, a, a volume and profit disappointment for me, where they just end up being another supermarket. But I'm, I'm not doing it to myself anymore. I've kind of checked out. I've kind of checked out from, from supermarket or craft beer breweries in general. I tell you, there are some good ones. I went to track in Manchester last month. Absolutely fantastic. Cloud water. Cloudwater, I got a lot of respect for Cloudwater because they flirted. They flirted with Supermarket. They had a little look with Supermarket. They realised Supermarket wasn't for them. I've got the biggest respect for Cloudwater because they said, Do you know what? This is not for us. This is not for us. It won't work. And they pulled back from that. And I'm, and I'm really pleased that they did that. I'm really pleased at Cloudwater. And Cloudwater went back to producing fantastic beer. So, so Cloudwater are the outlier here. The, you know, you can never imagine, you can never imagine Cloud Water doing this ridiculous, ridiculous beer. And and the taste of this beer is just outrageously terrible too. Awful, astringent, headache fueled chemical mess. Um, that's a 2 out of 10. 2 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.